There we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. Let me turn my volume. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Bless the King. Bless the King. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It is Monday. It is the beginning of our week. We are blessed with the opportunity to begin this week. I don't know about y'all, but we need this medicine as we prepare ourselves for work. Some are at work, but regardless of all, we need this prescription. Today's medicine, today's medicine, today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 18. And the Bible says, whoever hides hatred has lying lips. and Whoever spreads slander is a fool. I want to focus on part A of this verse this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And I want to focus on part A of this verse, but I love the word that the CSB uses instead of hide, it uses conceals. So I want to read it out of the CSB and only the part A version, part A part. The one who conceals hatred has lying lips. The one who conceals hatred. I love that word instead of hides. I love the word conceals. I remember when we were younger, uh, I used to go to my grandmother's house with my cousins, my brothers, my sisters, all of us together. And oh, my grandmother's house, we'd all get together. Man, it's about 10 of us, man. And you have a couple people from the neighborhood and you can just have a really, really big, uh, game going on for whatever we're doing we used to all come together and play different in a variety of games but one game you used to always play was hide and seek hide and seek and you may be accustomed to that game you may know about that game but the whole premise of that game was you have somebody we used to have them on my grandmother's porch you put your head up on the wall and you count to 10. And, you, and at the end, you'd be like, ready or not, here I come. And so that is an indicator that you're done counting and you are going to go seek those who are hiding. And so everybody else will run and we look for different hiding spots um, so that we would not be seen and that we could creep around until we come and touch the base and that's where you're deemed as safe. And we used to love this game. I say of all the games we play, I believe that we played this game more than we played any other game. And in that game, the whole premise of it was to hide or to conceal yourself so that you could not be seen. And I want to use that platform this morning for our morning medicine because it seems that we still are playing hide and seek when it comes to God. It seems that we're still playing hide and seek when it comes to God. Notice the scripture says, those who conceal hatred has lying lips. The one who conceals hatred has lying lips. What does that mean? That word conceals, that's why I love this word as God was getting, giving it to me this morning. I want to use it in this manner. That word conceals means to hide. But it's to me, it speaks a little deeper. That word conceal means to intentionally hide meaning that you are hiding intentionally. You are hiding intentionally. So you are intentionally concealing a matter. You are intentionally concealing a matter. And I'm telling you, we have been accustomed to concealing things from our predecessors, Adam and Eve. 
The Bible says in a garden, they hid from God. And we take up on that same mentality and we're still playing hide and seek from God. We've learned to conceal things. We've learned to hide things. We've learned to cover things in a manner as if he does not see. So we conceal these things where? We conceal it in our hearts. We conceal it. We intentionally hide behind feelings. We intentionally hide behind smiles. We intentionally hide behind good acts. We intentionally hide behind uh, things that bother us. We intentionally hide behind it behind bad habits. We intentionally hide behind it behind uh, kind work. Whatever the case may be, we have learned to intentionally hide and we hide it behind things. We hide it behind our emotions. We hide it behind uh, different activities that we get involved in just so that we can stay hidden. It's, even, it's not even about the activity. It's all about the intentionally concealing or intentionally hiding a thing. And we have learned to hide. And for this morning medicine, I want to bring this medicine. Why are you hiding? Why are you still con intentionally concealing the issue? We know there's an issue. You know there's an issue. God knows there's an issue. But yet, why are you hiding from the issue? Why are you concealing the matter? Why have you learned or still being conditioned and still playing hide and seek as if nothing is wrong? As if something is not bothering you. Why are you hiding behind the smile? Why are you hiding behind the tears? They're not tears of joy. Why are you, what, what, come on. Why are you intentionally hiding? Why are you playing hide and seek from God? The scripture says those who conceal a matter has lying lips. In other words, you act like nothing's wrong. And what you conceal shows forward your lying lips. Because you speak as if everything is good, but yet what's concealed in your heart speaks and communicate that is not good. Your heart don't match the words that come out of your mouth. What's hidden behind does not match what's protruding from your life. So in other words, you are lying. You're acting as if things are good. You're acting as if you can just ignore. You're acting as if it does not bother you, but yet it bothers you. Why are you continuing to hide? Why are you lying to yourself? And most importantly, why are you lying to God? Why are you acting like nothing is bothering you? I don't know where we get this mentality. Well, I did. I said it in the beginning. We adopted it from our ancestors, Adam and Eve. Where sin has did a work on us to where now we are more prone to hide than to be honest that something is bothering us. We're more prone to conceal it instead of letting it be revealed. Why are you hiding? Why are you intentionally concealing the matter? Something is the matter, but yet you're concealing it as if nothing is the matter. You're telling your spouse that everything is good, but when you know everything is not good, and this is the lie that we receive, we know that nothing is good, so somebody asks us and we lie to them and say that it is good when it's not good. And then we'll go off and tell somebody else the problems or issues that we're having. And then we'll go back and ask if nothing is wrong. Why are we intentionally concealing the matter? 
Why do we go to sleep on it as if things are good and we learn to be conditioned to ignore it, learn to be conditioned to be comfortable with it, learn to be conditioned to just act like everything is good while it rots us from the inside out? Why do you lie to yourself? Man, you got some addictions. You got some issues. Why do you keep lying to yourself? Man, you can't stop that thing. So you conceal it as if it's not a problem. You learn to be better at hiding than you are at revealing. You learn to be better at lying than telling the truth. Why are you hiding? Why are you allowing something to rot you on the inside? And yet you act like everything is good on the outside. The Lord called the Pharisees whitewashed tombs. He said, you're dead on the inside, but you got this appearance as if everything is good on the outside. As if I don't see what's happening or going on inside of you. Why are we hiding? Why are you playing hide and seek from God? Why are you concealing, intentionally hiding as if nothing is bothering you? And I'm telling you right now, that's the problem or the reason why we have church hurt. Church hurt normally revolves around us not being honest with the person that hurt us. So we'd rather leave the fellowship instead of being honest with the fellowship. And yet go tell everybody else how that last church hurt us, but yet we have yet to tell the person that actually hurt us. Children not revealing to their parents the issues that's going on inside of them. So they go find other things to intentionally hide behind those things. As if nothing is wrong. You're getting bullied in school, but yet you'd rather hide behind some type of comfortability or some type of facade that you're this tough person. Man, you're not all that tough. You hide behind the name of boldness, hide behind the name of strength, but yet you're not strong enough to even speak what you're hiding. That's not true strength. True strength is not ignoring that you have an issue. True strength, true strength is confessing, revealing that there's an issue so God can deal with that issue. Man, you got some problems, but yet you want to intentionally hide as if you don't have any problems. How can you get healed? How can you get healed? If you're never willing to reveal. How? How can I know there's a problem with you when you won't even tell me there's an issue with you? We have learned to conceal. We have learned to intentionally hide behind the fig leaves. We have learned to hide behind the money, the glamour. We have learned to hide behind keeping up with the Joneses. We have learned to hide. Why are you hiding? Somebody asked you if something is wrong. That's God asking you through them if something is wrong. But you can't be honest with God. Man, you got some bad spending habits. But you don't want to be honest with it. So you want to go show everybody you don't have bad spending habits by going to go buy something else. That don't fix the problem. That just shows even worse. That's more of a, a worse of a problem. Because instead of being honest about it, you want to cover it up and go spin as if you don't have no problem, as if you're not struggling. So you go buy that new fill in the blank to show everybody that you're not struggling. 
even though you are struggling, but you want to put on this facade. Why are you hiding? Why? Why? I wonder if Judas would have been honest with God and let Jesus know that I got some issues with thieving. I can't keep my hands out of the cookie jar. I just wonder if he would have been honest about his lust for money. I wonder if Achan would have been honest with God and let it be known that he treasured the very things he were looking at and he wanted it. I just wonder if Cain would have been honest of some of the things that was happening in his heart and it could have helped him to not kill his brother. Because when we intentionally hide some things, it will always cost some things. Because you're being rotten on the inside, and that rottenness will eventually come out of you on the outside. Man, I just wonder if Saul would have been honest with God. That he didn't want to kill everything in 1 Samuel chapter 15. That he didn't want to kill everything. Because God, I, I, I feel some type of way about everything you saying to kill. I wonder if he would have been honest with God and not intentionally hid or concealed from the prophet that God sent. As I ask you today, I wonder what it would be like if you stop intentionally hiding. The scripture says in Matthew chapter 28, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 18, verse 15, that when someone sins against you, when someone sins against you, go and tell them their fault, just you and him. This is what the scripture says. He says, if your brother sins against you, he says, this is the commandment I give you. It's not an option. It's a commandment from God because God does not ever want us to conceal a matter because concealing or intentionally hiding is not of God because it's expressing lying lips, meaning that there's an issue, but yet you learn to intentionally conceal it. That's why God says, if your brother sins against you, go let your brother know one-on-one. -on -one. Not call them out on social media. You're hiding behind social media because you don't want to face that brother or sister. You're hiding behind uh, indirect quotes and indirect comments. That's concealing and intentionally hiding. We know there's an issue. We see it in all your remarks and your exclamation points and all your emojis on your uh, social media posts. And you're hiding behind social media. But yet the Bible says, if your brother, if another believer of the Lord, if you feel they have offended you, if you feel that way, God says, go let them know one-on-one. -on -one. In other words, give them a call, pull them to the side. Let them know that something that they did offended you. Because sometimes we go off on this offense and the person don't even know they offended us. And we go off thinking a thing and we don't even bring attention to the thing. Sometimes those people are not aware. Sometimes I'm immature that I'm seeing things not in the way it should be seen. But because of where I am, I take it, conceal it, and then I go off with that intentionally concealing and that thing eats me up and now I can't stand church people. Now I can't stand filling a blank. And I go off and tell everybody else and I have yet to tell that person. And every time it comes to that person, I intentionally conceal. So for our morning medicine this morning, the question I ask, why are you hiding? Why are you intentionally concealing? Let this time 
be a platform on our life that we stop playing hide and seek with God. That we actually be honest with those people. We actually be honest with that person. We actually be honest first with ourselves because that's being honest with God. Let's stop concealing. Let's stop intentionally hiding. The anointing is not in the fig leaves. The anointing is being naked before God. So again, I ask you, why are you hiding? No more playing hide and seek. <laughs> Confess and seek. God bless you. This is your morning medicine.